Welcome back. As promised, today we're going to set up to make silage. I went ahead and skipped forward a couple months so that the grass was ready to harvest again, so we have something to make silage out of. Uh, so our first step is going to be cut and windrow the grass, and then we'll go get all the tools we need to make silage. So, let's get at it. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, helpers start mowing for us. Let's see where we got to start this. Do, do, do. It's somewhere around here. Up there. And they're off. He continues on with that. Let's get this windrower set up. Our other tractor. I always remember which one's the tether because the tether's got the yellow tines on it. Yellow tines stand for hay. Which might be kind of dumb, but it works for me. So we're going to get this one going as well with a helper. While they're doing that, let's go start getting what we need. So I'll meet you over at the store. the store so in order to make silage we need to mow windrow bale wrap and load our bales to bring them to the store We've got mowing and windrowing already set so the first thing we need is a baler oh before we have that really cheap baler right there two thousand dollars no customization, so I guess we'll just buy it as is. Once they're bailed, they need to be wrapped. We've got this wrapper here. We can change the stickers on. That doesn't matter to me. One attacher joint and two attacher joints. I don't really know what that does. It doesn't appear to actually change anything so we'll just go with that oil color can we change it without price yet let's make it black main color uh, i think that'll match our tractor that'd be close right the other one look like i mean they're all kind of close that one's a little too dark i think we'll go with this one that'll match the tractor and design color's fine the so four thousand for this it leaves us $10,415. We're going to need something to tow it around on. I was going to get this one, but that's an 8 bale trailer. And this regular old style bale trailer is cheaper and larger. Let's get this one instead. Wheel set up. Go with a gnarly gnarly tires on it main color two hundred dollars make that green too 
it's not the right green. That might be closer. They're all like versions of mint green almost. Ooh, what do we think of that? That's not a bad looking green, right? And we go, actually, instead of trying to color match it, go black, black, blackity, black, black. That'll be fine. 2,400, so it'll leave us $8,000. 7,955. So in order to load bales onto that, we're going to need something extra. And we were going to get that pitchfork. This. I was going to get this and put it on the back of our tractor. But I did a little experimenting with it on a different map. And every time I picked up a bale, it would just start sliding off. No matter what the angle of this was, you could stick it as straight up in the air as you could. The bale would just start sliding off. So we're not going to play with this. Instead, what we're going to do is get a skid steer. We don't have the money for it yet, but we do have logs to sell still. But there's this little bobcat. I want to buy this. I think this will work fine for us. Let me put the bobcat decals on. Get it in bobcat white. And that I think will work good. So that's 8,000. So we're just short of that. And then to go with that, we will need a pallet fork. So 8,500. So I think one, one truck bed load of logs should get us there. So let me ferry this stuff back. Let's see, we'll take the the baler back to the farm, pick up a load of logs, see if we can't get that little bobcat. This should be able to tow the baler. I want to start with that because it's the first thing we're going to need. Yeah, it'll hook up to it. Good, 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 good. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, I'll get this over there. Meet you over at the store. We gotta untangle these two, which I'm not really surprised about. Surprised they made it this far without crashing. Give this guy a second. We'll just turn this off. Let the mower mow. Let me get this right out of the field. But he's not crashing into it anymore. Just park it off over here on the edge of the field. I should be out of this guy's way. Alright. Then we'll let that guy mow and then we'll win row. Win row only takes a minute. So much for trying to save time, huh? Let's get this parked somewhere in here. Doesn't much matter where at this point. Stick it between the buildings there. What I'm hoping I can do is uh is to Get the bale trailer over here and then rent that little trailer that we use to get the tractor back here. Put the bobcat on that tractor and use the bobcat to lift the bale wrapper also on that trailer. 
hoping I can like scoop it up with the pallet forks and get it on the tractor. Now we are going to have to sell something because we want to have money at the end of the day for our bank loan. I don't want to go into the negatives. If we're going to spend all of our money today on new equipment, we're going to need to do something. So that, that small field I probably will end up turning into hay and selling, but not today. Well, not this episode. I mean, it, it will be today in game. But I want to work on baling and wrapping and then loading up that bale trailer. And then using the bigger bale trailer, we should be able to get all the bales off of the field. That way they're not in the way of the grass growing and us mowing it again if we need to before the silage is fully fermented. A nice little triangle stack. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. That should give us plenty of cash. So I'll go sell this and then I'll meet you back at the store to pick up the rest of the stuff. I was hoping that this bale trailer had a hitch on the rear end, but it doesn't. So we're going to have to make another trip. But while we're here right now, let's get what we're here to get. So that's the little bobcat. Put the bobcat decals on because it looks cool. Put it in white so we can actually see it while it's in the field. And this is little, so it's a skid steer, but it's the little stand on skid steer. And this should be fine for it. I uh, I deliver to a nursery, like a giant greenhouse place. They make all sorts of different plants. But I deliver stuff to them, and they get like full skids of seeds and all sorts of things. And they use one of those. So I know it can handle it. Single bale, especially if we don't make them too big. So this is the pallet forks, and the best part about the game is you can just jam the pallet forks into a bale and use them as bale spikes. That leaves us $1,200, so that's like one month, because we have like $950 worth of um, loan and interest payments, and then another couple hundred dollars for property maintenance for our, all of the buildings that are on our property. We are going to rent this for $142. And then we'll try to get all of that up on that trailer. Let me get this trailer back and come back and hook up. And then we'll see about getting the rest of this stuff back. Now that that mower is well ahead, see if we can get this guy rolling again. Get some of this work done while we're out here. Let me turn. So, if you're using AI helpers, they'll go, the max speed they'll go is what you have set as your cruise control. If you need to slow them down, just turn down your cruise control. Let's put this out, back up just a hair, pull this up, go last, uh, nearest waypoint, should stop, start right here. We may have him on the wrong loop, let's see. Nope, oh, it's hard to say, they're right next to each other. Stop. Yep, okay, he was on the wrong loop. 
Let's back him back up. He thought he was on the very last run. No. You don't get out of it that easy. here a little bit. What if we start him here? Yeah, now he should be on the right. Now he's on the right path, which is immediately next to the path he was just on. But he should continue around the corner and keep going now. Just watch him for a second, make sure he's working. Yeah, I think it's alright. be done in a second so by the time we park this we'll get that tractor off the field this bale trailer is actually larger than I thought it would be and the tongue is really low we need a drop hitch on this truck I was trying to lower the suspension but this is as low as it goes There for now. Uh, you gonna drop or what? Oh, I'm collected on the wrong thing. There we go. Alright. Go get this tractor out of the field so the other one can just work. This put away. Actually, we'll hook this one to the valor. We'll get the mower put away. Turn off that. Ooh, it's thundering outside. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Thunderstorm. It's rolling in. That there. Hook this to the baler, and then we'll go get the rest of our stuff. Ooh, there we go. That was a loud one. Let me save the game just in case I lose power. There we go. Alright. You can sit right there. Let us go get the rest of our stuff. Okay, get this thing up and running. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see if we can scoop this. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but we're going to try. It would potentially work in real life. I can tell you that. We go from the end. White nose out of it. Oh, it's just going to push it. Can we get under it at all. We may have to come back for the bail wrapper. I cannot scoop that thing on here. Well, that is not fun. Should be able to scoop it up. This is not fair. Scoop. And you won't let me go through that hole either, will you? Ooh, thunder. Alright, well, we needed the trailer to get this back to the shop. Up anyway. Oh, go up, up, up. I don't know if it's the trailer or the bobcat doesn't like it, but something doesn't like the bobcat being up here. Oh, 
all that good. Turn it off. Scrap it down. Look at this in utter dismay. Put those away. All right, let me go bring this there. And we'll be back with the uh, the trailed lifter, I guess. Get that last piece. Okay, let's get this unloaded. on it either should have a regular hitch as well that way I could <laughs> tow the trailer behind the trail lifter and not have to make an extra grip wonder could we just pay somebody to do this for us we probably could Let's do that. Let me get a hold of the store. Get them to come back. Bring us our bale wrapper. Pick up this trailer. Park the truck first. That way we can get moving on with everything else. Actually, I'll put the truck in front of the baler. In front of the bale trailer. Boop -ba doop -ba doop. That way I'm not taking up tractor spots. There we go. Park you right there. That's fine. Alright, let me get these swapped around and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We sent that trailer back. Had them come pick up the trailer and bring us the the bell wrapper. We're going to go ahead and take over for this guy. Boop. Turn that off. He's almost done anyway. What an interesting choice in how to do the field. I know I kind of told him how to do it, but still, like the specific spots where they're skewed. Just interesting. See how somebody else would do it. Or what do you say? Just one more? One more. We'll call it good. Boop. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's the lights. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. There's the right buttons. Button, button. Who's got the button? Okay, let's go put this away, and we're going to start bailing. Oh, there's so much stuff in the way. Alright, let's park this out of the way, and then we're going to start bailing. <laughs> 